So if you have a strap nearby, um, that would be helpful or like a scarf or something, not totally needed. We're just gonna use it for like two poses and you can use something else or um, just use your hands. But if you have one nearby, maybe just grab that real quick. Okay. All right, so you can navigate on over to your playlist there. And actually, I'm just going to quickly see if I can turn off the autoplay on this. No, not that I can see. That's okay. Just so I know when it's done because uh, it doesn't really have, they're, both songs are like really long and they don't really have any like identifying features. So I just don't want to go too long, but I'll, I guess I'll just check my watch towards the end. Okay, so I'm going to hit play. You can adjust your volume as needed. I'll keep talking so you can hear my voice in comparison. Okay, so coming to a seated position on the mat. Settling in for a nice restful evening yoga experience. You might sit up on a pillow if you like, get yourself comfy because we'll be here for just a little bit. Sitting straight up through the spine. Relaxing shoulders down. Taking a deep breath in. Long breath out. Deep breath in. Long breath out. Deep breath in, long breath out. So we'll learn a bit of a new breathing technique today and it's called Ujjayi breath or ocean sounding breath. So I was just doing it a little bit there. You might've heard it on the exhale, basically, Imagine like there's a mirror in front of you and you're trying to fog it up. So to, to practice this, you might take your hands and cup them in front of your mouth and then pretend like you're fogging up a mirror. So breathing in through the nose and out through the mouth. Let's practice a couple of these. So you might try this time doing it, but with your mouth closed. So you're still exhaling through the nose, but it's just sort of like a slight restriction of the throat. So the air is like hitting the back of like where your nose meets your throat, like the, the palate almost, the back of your throat and the roof of your throat. So we'll try it, ready? Deep breath in. So you can see why it's called ocean sounding breath. It almost sounds like the waves crashing onto the beach and then sliding back out into the ocean, crashing and sliding back into the ocean. So just try a couple more. 
and just maybe bring that visualization in of waves crashing on the beach. So this is a really great calming breath because it sort of forces us to focus our attention on it because it's so it's so audible. Um, it takes it takes thought to be able to produce the sound, but then as you're hearing it, it's reminding you that you're you're making a sound. So I find when I'm doing movement in my practice and or even in my meditation, actually, when my mind starts to wander or I'm finding that I'm having difficulties, I often turn to this breath. Um, to help me focus, to help me um, return to matching my movements with my breath or in meditation to remind me to focus on the present and not follow along those little thoughts as they, as they drift by. So as we move into our practice for this evening, I challenge you to use this little breath um, throughout the practice and see if it helps you to sort of connect in a little bit more with your focus and, and your movements. So we will begin our practice with legs straight out in Dandasana. If you have your pillow, what you might try is scooting it back a little bit. So just you're just sitting on the very edge of it. So it's sort of elevating your hips just a little bit. You don't have to use a pillow, it just might be a little bit more comfortable. Okay, so let's begin with the hands on either side of the hips. Inhale, arms up and overhead. Exhale, hands to heart center. Inhale, arms up and overhead. Exhale, hands to the mat. A few more at your own pace, practicing that breath. I always find it feels really nice when we do the hands to heart center. It's almost like it's pushing the air out of your lungs in a very cleansing way. Two more. Last one. We'll meet with hands on either side when you're ready. I'll give you a moment to catch up. Planting the left hand on the mat, we'll bring the right hand up and overhead on the inhale, bringing it over to the left as we exhale. Inhale back to center. Exhale, drop the left or right hand down, sorry. Inhale, left hand up, plant the right.
One more flow at your own pace. Okay, so we'll bring it, the left foot up, bending the knee. And we'll bring the left foot up and over the left knee. So it's on the outside of the left knee. Inhale, arms up and overhead. Exhale, let's bring right elbow to right knee as we twist to the left. Holding for a couple breaths here. Easing into the twist. Inhale back to sun. Untucking that leg, sending it out straight, bending the left knee, bringing it up and over the right leg to the outside of the right knee. Deep breath in. Exhale, left elbow to left knee, turn to face the right. Remembering to connect with the breath, Ujjayi breath. Inhale back to center. Untucking the foot, sending it out straight. Inhale, let's take a little bit of a back bend. Exhale, forward fold over the legs, rounding through the spine. Holding the pose here just for a moment. A couple of deep breaths. Inhale, sliding the hands up the shins, straightening the spine one vertebrae at a time. Now you might wanna grab some pillows here if you have them nearby. I've got two here, so I'm gonna go extra comfy today. So you have two options. You can either send or put the pillows out long, the same length as your legs. Um, for a little bit of support, or if you feel more comfortable, you might sit them this way, up tall, or if you if you don't have a lot of more like range of motion, to, like knees to your head to your knees. So up to you to see what works best. We're gonna do that forward fold again, except this time it's gonna be supported. And we're just gonna hang out there for a little while. So get your pillows ready. Inhale, arms up and overhead. Slight back bend. Exhale as we fold over onto our comfy pillows. You might turn your head to the side if that's more comfortable. We'll be hanging out here for a moment or for a little while. So you might put your head to one side for a little while and switch to the other. Just slowly sinking into the pose. We don't often get to stretch the upper portions of the back. So this is a nice opportunity to do that. Feeling the shoulder blades separating and sliding down the back. You might even experiment with putting the backs of the palms of the hands on the floor behind you, kind of like you do in our child pose. Or you might reach towards the toes, whatever feels good.
Inhale one vertebrae at a time. We'll stand or sit back up. Putting the pillows to side just for a moment. We'll take the left uh, foot in towards the groin, sending the left leg or the right leg out, sorry, into sort of a half straddle. And we'll move the pillows onto the right leg. You might need to shift on your sits bones to get into a sort of comfy position here. We'll inhale, arms up and overhead. Exhale, fold over the right leg. So we're feeling a bit of a stretch in the left hip now. Again, if it feels comfier to have only one pillow or to have one sort of folded up just a bit closer to the body like this. Whatever feels good, just experiment for yourself. I'm feeling like I don't have a lot of range of motion today since I was doing some early morning outdoor cold weather yoga. So I'm feeling like a little extra support. Again, if your mind starts to wander, bringing that ujjayi breath in. Helping you to deepen the breath as well, calming the nervous system. With intention on an inhale, straightening up to the spine, one breath right at the time. Maybe using the hands to sort of walk you up. Lifting the pillows up, we'll bring the le uh, right leg in, send the left leg out. Adjusting our pillows again. Inhale, arms up and overhead. Exhale, folding over. You might turn the head towards the leg that's bent, towards the inside. Bit of a stretch in the right hip. Nice stretch through the spine. When you feel ready, coming back up into our tall seat and putting the pillows aside for now, we'll come to a reclined position on the mat. So on our back, if you have your strap nearby, that could be helpful. Actually, I have to move my mat out because I know I'm gonna need some extra room here. I might have to move this as well. Okay, so coming into reclined position, if you have a strap or a scarf or just some long object, that could be helpful. If not, I'll, I'll give you some advice on what to do. So coming into a reclined position slowly and mindfully, sending the legs out long, and actually to ground our lower back into the mat, I always find I have such a curvy lower back that it doesn't really connect right away. It takes a while for my spine to sort of lower into the ground. And an easy way to do that is to bring the knees up to the chest. And you'll find that it sort of rounds the lumbar spine down into the mat. So we might hold this for just a moment or you might take some little circles, giving yourself a little back massage.
Okay, so we'll send the left leg long. We'll send the right leg up towards the sky. So you could either hold on to the back of the thigh here, or if you have your strap, you might hold on either end and then wrap the strap around the sole of the foot, giving it sort of just a gentle, gentle tug. If not, you might be here, that's okay too. Flexing through the left foot, flexing through the right. And if you put a gentle tug on your strap, if you're using the strap, and flexing through the foot, you can nice, get a nice little stretch there, down the back of the right leg. Holding only for as long as feels good. If you find this tiring, you might bring it back down to our wind relieving pose here, using the, the strap or um, holding the knee. Or if you'd like to experiment with your strap and a little bit of hip rotation, you might start to open the leg up to the side using your strap to hold the leg out. Only going as far as feels good. You might wanna send the left arm out into a T position for some counterbalance here. Gentle bend in the knee. If you're not using your strap, you might just bend the knee at 45 degrees, or sorry, 90 degrees, and then just open it up into sort of a fallen tree pose. Lots of options here, whatever feels nice. If that's too deep of a stretch for your knee, you might even just bring your sole of your foot to the knee, just like you would in standing tree pose. Whatever feels good for you. Slowly beginning to return back to center. Bringing the right sole of the foot down to the mat and out straight. Bringing left knee in. Again, you might just stay here in wind relieving pose. You might send the foot out straight, holding onto the back of the thigh. Or you might use your strap again around the sole of the foot, sending it skyward, flexing through both feet. Again, you might come into a bit of a fallen tree pose here. Sole of the foot against the leg. Or sending the foot out 90 degrees. Or if you have your strap, you might begin to open up through the hip. I'm running out of space in my wall here. I gotta scooch over a little bit. There we go. Finding whatever expression of the pose feels good for you. Connecting in with the breath if you find that you're getting distracted. Slowly coming back to center when you feel ready. Bending the knee. Sending the legs out straight. Okay, so what we might do here is come into a little bit of a bridge pose, but make sure you have your pillow nearby so you can tuck it under the low back. So have it next to you. Cleaning the soles of the feet just below the bum. Pressing the hips up. Sliding the pillow under the low back. You might use two here, actually. It's up to you. Let's see how I feel with one. I'm going to try two. So pillow supporting the low back, coming into a supported bridge. If your arms don't fit because of your pillows, you might just bring them up and overhead. Sitting so that your bum is still sort of 
I think it works for here. Pretty nice band of fun. You want a bit more of the stretching it from the legs up straight. Stretching up the spine. You can stay here if it feels good. Or you might bring soles of the feet to towards the bum, bring them together, open up the knees, coming into the palm, the palm down the angle. So this is an extreme stretch for your hips. You can even tuck a pillow underneath each leg. Sorry, thanks. Probably my mic getting stuck in my uh, shirt here. So you might place a pillow underneath neath each of the knees or blocks. Giving yourself total support. Perhaps connecting in with that Ujjayi breath. So as we prepare for our final Savasana now, for our Yoga Nidra, you might stay in one of these poses if it's comfortable for you. Or to make your um, Savasana or corpse pose extra cozy, you might tuck a pillow underneath the knees and one underneath the low back, creating a nice little support. And even if you want some extra comfort, maybe one underneath the head too, creating a total comfort station for your yoga nidra. So while you get your blankets and your pillows and everything organized, I will grab my nidra stuff. You might even lower the lights or light a candle, making it extra cozy.